How do pilots get down to the ground safely in weather like this? Well, it's most likely going to be an ILS or an instrument landing system. The instrument landing system is an amazing tool that we've been using for decades to get airplanes from where they're at in the sky down to a runway safely in low visibility situations, just like what we've got here. So the ILS is going to be comprised of about, well, it's going to be comprised of exactly three different components. All right. You're going to have the guidance, the range and the visual. So the guidance is going to consist of a glide slope and a localizer. These are going to be two lobed signals. One of those lobes are going to be 90 Hertz. One of those lobes are going to be 150 Hertz. And the glide slope is just going to be turned on its side so that you've got the 90 Hertz up here and the 150 Hertz down here. Now, if you are picking up more of one signal than the other, that's letting you know that you aren't on the appropriate path. You are either left of course, right of course, too high or too low on that glide path. All right. Now, the next component is going to be your range measuring equipment, whether it be DME, NDB, or marker beacons. Marker beacons are these little antennas that sit on the ground that beam upwards to your airplane to let you know when you are crossing specific parts of this ILS. It's letting you know, are you five miles away? Are you 10 miles away? Are you crossing this specific fix? Should you be getting the glide slope at this point in time? Now, with fancier avionics nowadays, a lot of that marker beacon and range measuring equipment can be replaced with things like RNAV or GPS. The last component of an ILS is going to be the visual component. This is going to be the approach lighting system. This is going to be the centerline lights, the runway edge lights, the uh, airport, right? The, the numbers on the pavement. These help the pilot well identify and let them know, hey, I made it to the place that I planned to. Because if I expected to break out of the clouds and see a six on the pavement and I see a two four on the pavement, well, I'm in the wrong damn place. So your three main components are going to be your guidance, your range and your visual. Let me know if you've got any other questions.